Hey guys, what's up? KL in here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're in an ultimate team and today we are going to be doing an 87 rated total rushed Trent Alexander on review. So heading into the first match of this video, Kobe Mino gets it into Alexander Arnold and just showcasing the dribbling here. He sends, I think that's Cole Palmer, absolutely flying. A little bit of lag, but Rash is able to get onto the end of that pass, runs through and scores. And we do have now the first assist in this video with Alexander Arnold. By the way, his ability to drive through midfield is quite spectacular. And so was that miss there from Marcus Rashford. Fully expecting him to score that. Didn't though. But regardless, Trent is going to get another assist right here. He does very well, like I said, at driving through midfield. He's able to pick up the ball and just run through. And for some reason, no one can tackle him. And again, here, he receives a pass from, I think, that's Zero Berto. Just runs a little bit in that midfield. Gets it into Marcus Rashford. Another power shot, another goal. And it is another assist from Alexander Arnold so far. And one more right here. A perfect pass through. Here's Rashford. There's the goal. Come as you like. Easy enough. Just get it to Trent. Play it to Rashford and we do have basically a tap-in at the end of that. That guy pauses and he does end up quitting. So, moving on to the next game here. We win back possession. Trent is there, right place at the right time. Moves it on to Alex Iwobi, who then finds the back of the net. And this guy is an assist machine, basically. But this goal right here is absolutely beautiful. And it all stems from this pass right here. Absolutely phenomenal pass over the top. Rashford collects it, plays it into the box, and Joao Felix with a tap-in at the end of it, but a phenomenal ball over the top from Alexander-Arnold, and we do end up scoring and here again, a lovely little dink over the top, here's Marcus Rashford with a looping power shot over the goalkeeper, and Trent has another assist in this video. I've honestly lost count at this stage, but we'll find out at the end of the video. Here we win back possession, so Roberto gets it into Alexander-Arnold, who just stabs it on to Marcus Rashford, who finds the top corner yet again. But again, wonderful positioning from Alexander Arnold. And here, he does pretty well. Collects it in the midfield. We're on the counter attack from the corner. Does well to hold off his man. Good strength, good pace, good pass. And Ajibade smashes it into the near post. Here again, this one falls to Alexander Arnold and showcasing the dribbling on the card. Can he wriggle away from Bruno Fernandes? He can. Good reverse pass into Joao Felix. Unfortunately, that shot is blocked. But Trent is there with the interception. Yet again, wonderful piece of skill. Lays it off to Rashford. And that Rashford-Trent combination is absolutely broken. It might as well be a Marcus Rashford video. But with that being said, that was the last clip of this video. So it is time now to review the card. And as you guys can see, in 10 games, he has managed 8 assists. Which is absolutely phenomenal. And what you expect from this Trent Alexander-Arnold card is assist. You expect him. To go ahead and get assists and that is exactly what he has done i've gone with the engine camps out because i wanted to try him out in sentiment just get him more involved in the play and also a defensive mid just have him make those runs forward with the ball and he did that many many times so the pace on the card is pretty good i do think he deserves an 8.5 out of 10 it's pretty solid actually and i think he is fast enough to play right back but against players like vinicius and Bappe, he is going to get cooked but he might be able to just outmuscle them and win the ball back because he does have quite a presence in this game. He's quite tall and his build in game is pretty decent as well. So he will maybe push the weaker players off the ball. Pace honestly gets an 8.5 out of 10. It is pretty solid. And if you are playing right back, I do recommend the Shadow Camp style, which will boost the pace even further. Shooting, I have tried one or two shots of them, not really doing much to test the goalkeeper. The shooting isn't phenomenal. But it's not horrible either. You will get a shot on target, but chances of him scoring is very, very slim. So trying him out in the defensive mid position, I don't really think you're going to be shooting with him that often. So honestly, shooting as it is, is solid. 7.5 out of 10. I think he does deserve it. Passing is beautiful. It's absolutely phenomenal. Just get the ball with this guy. Press triangle, press L1 and triangle, or what, depending on what console you're playing, you know, I think it's LB and why but regardless my point is over the top crosses passes through balls this guy can do literally everything to perfection he makes every single pass especially with that engine camp style he is absolutely phenomenal so passing gets a 9.4 out of 10 it's absolutely crazy and he does have the whooped pass plus playstyle as well which does really really help out so like i said passing gets a 9.4 out of 10 and dribbling 
believe it or not, is actually pretty solid. I think, especially with the ancient cam cell, it is very good because it goes up to 94, the actual dribbling stat. It does get plus 4 to the agility, taking it up to 86. It does get a nice boost to the balance as well. So in all honesty, the dribbling on the card is pretty solid. I think he does deserve an 8.8 out of 10. You guys saw him in the first clip of the video actually take on Cole Palmer. Although it was laggy, you guys got the point. And then against Bruno Fernandes, he was able to keep possession very well. So dribbling, I think, deserves an 8.8 out of 10. Defending is pretty solid. I think he deserves an 8.7 out of 10. I think it's well, well worth it. Interceptions on the card is absolutely phenomenal. And he can make those tackles exactly when you need him to. And when it comes down to the physical, I think he deserves an 8.3 out of 10. He is pretty strong on the ball, surprisingly. He doesn't really get easily pushed off. And he does last the full 90 minutes. So when it comes down to the positions and the roles, I think playing him at right back as a false back is obviously the way to go. Or if you are playing him in midfield, I think defensive mid, you could try him as a center half, but this is obviously going to allow you to spray those passes with him, which would be pretty good. So you could do that, or you could play him as a holding midfielder or even a deep line playmaker in that defensive mid role. He could basically play anywhere. Or if you want, you could even use him as a box-to-box -box center mid, although he doesn't have that role of familiarity. But you can use him as a box-to-box -box in center mid, and he will do a pretty good job, especially if you give him something that will boost the finishing, like a hunter or I think a gladiator as well, will boost the finishing and the defensive attributes. So I think a hunter cam cell as center mid, box-to-box, -box, would be pretty solid, actually. He seems like a pretty fun box-to-box. -box. But in all honesty, I think defensive mid, deep line playmaker or center half or even holding so basically anywhere in defensive mid or right back as a false back this guy is absolutely phenomenal with that being said i do bring an end to the video if you like it smash a thumbs up but before that do i think he's worth the coins he is going for last time i checked around 320k according to footprint do i think he's worth it i do i have to admit i do i think he is a very very good defensive man i think based on the players that we have in the game at the moment is definitely the best defensive mid you could get in the Premier League without a doubt in game that is without a doubt I just want to clarify that before I get Rodri fans spamming me below in the comment section but in all honesty I think in game is the best defensive mid you could get from the Premier League so I do really recommend this card and without further ado I do bring an end to the video so like I was saying if you like this smash a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until then guys stay tuned for the next one Peace.